Good morning, students. Today we shall discuss regarding module three questions. That is, uh, explain reactive power of capacitors and also explain basics of capacitor. Right, short program. Capacitors connected in parallel and capacitors connected in series. These three questions we shall discuss. First one is reactive power of capacitors. The reactive power QC in single phase operation depends on three factors. What are the three factors it will depend? That is, one is voltage, one is capacitance, one is frequency. Reactive power depends on mainly the voltage, capacitance, and frequency. We can write that in an equation form. That is, QC is equal to U into IC. IC can be written as U divided by XC. That is, here we have considered U as voltage. Okay. You, uh, we can write another that is uh, U into 2 pi Fc. Xc is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi Fc. So what you'll get? Ic is equal to U into 2 pi Fc. Qc is equal to U square 2 pi Fc. We can one can recognize that reactive power depends on the supplied voltage in a squared manner. You can observe here Qc is equal to U square. That is a square voltage square okay it mainly depends on voltage supplied voltage this means that an increase of 10 percent due to the weighted voltage cause a 21 percent higher reactive power than weighted if we increase the voltage level for 10 percent then the requirement of reactive power also it will increase okay because if we got that we have the equation that is qc is equal to u square voltage square okay the frequency influences the reactive power in a linear manner. Here, this means that a capacitor with a defined capacitance supplied by an AC voltage of 60 Hertz results in a 20% more reactive power compared with a 50% that is frequency. Okay. When you compare the 50 Hertz frequency and when you compare with the 50, uh, 60 Hertz frequency, it uh, for 60 Hertz frequency, it requires more reactive power. This means that a capacitor with a defined capacitance uh, supplied by an AC voltage with a 60 Hertz, okay, that will result a 20% more reactive, uh, reactive power when you compare with the 50 Hertz grid. The nominal reactive power QR of a capacitor printed on a factory nameplate always refers to the weighted supply voltage QR. And the nameplate, that is what it will be the capacitor bands uh, like that. The nominal reactive power, that is QR, okay? QR of a capacitor printed on a factory nameplate that refers to what? That indicates what? It is a weighted supply voltage UR and a weighted frequency FR. Additional harmonic increases the current of capacitors accordingly, if not protected by the serial inductance. What do you mean by this? Additional harmonics which will create the uh, uh, in the power system. If you use uh, any capacitor bands like that, in order to control or in order to um, manage that, we will use a uh, controller part. Okay. We, their harmonics will be increased. The harmonics increase, or it will increase what? It will increase the current of capacitors. So if not, uh, it should be protected by serial inductances. If not protect, uh, if it is not increased, then fine. If it is increased, it should be protected by serial inductance. In the case of deviations due to voltage, UR and frequency FR, the actual reactive power is given by QC1 is equal to QCR U1 square divided by UR into F1 divided by FR. U1 is the actual voltage, F1 is the actual frequency, UR is weighted voltage, FR is a weighted frequency. If the supply voltage is higher than the weighted continually, the lifetime of the capacitor will be reduced. What they're saying is, if the supply voltage is, for example, the weighted voltage is 230, okay? If you give more than that, if, uh, if you give more than that for uh, only for sometimes, okay? If you give continuously, what happens? The lifetime of the capacitor will be reduced, 
okay if we go on yeah, giving the uh, more than rated voltage for that uh, capacitor band then the lifetime of the capacitor will be reduced manufacturers therefore recommended installing for example capacitors with a rated voltage of 440 for use in 400 voltage grids or even for 460 capacitor 460 voltage capacitor for using 450 voltage grids for example in the uk for and that's why in manufacturers manufacturer will do they will recommend what uh, for if you want to uh, for 400 grid then you use a 440 voltage capacitor band okay then if you want to for 450 voltage then you use a 460 voltage capacitors okay they recommend the uh, weighted uh, they recommend the parameters values okay they recommend the weighted voltage for uh, for uh, which voltage we need to be used these are the 440 for use in a 400 voltage grid and for uh, 460 voltage capacitors for use in 450 grids. This is the example that they are applying in the UK. And this is the example. Next topic, what we have discussed, uh, what we should discuss is, that is he explain the basics of capacitors. basics of capacitor in general a capacitor has two metallic areas insulated from each other by so called dielectric what they are saying is capacitor has a two metallic area insulated from each other by so dielectric it is called dielectric. The capacitance depend on the area of the coils and the distance between them and the dielectric coefficient epsilon of the insulating material. The capacitance depends on what? That is distance, area of the coils and the dielectric coefficient between the, uh, between the metallic and insulating material also. The insulating material and its impregnation determine the dielectric coefficient of the capacitor. For one thing you need to remember, the capacitor has two metallic area insulated from each other that we call it as dielectric and the capacitance depend on the area of the coils that is A and the coefficient epsilon of the epsilon that is dielectric coefficient of the insulating material epsilon the insulating material and its impregnation determines what determines the dielectric coefficient of the capacitor the quality of the capacitor is defined by its uh, dielectric dissipation factor that is tan delta tan delta is equal to what p into v divided by qc p suffix v divided by qc that is equal to xc divided by rv R suffix V it is okay that is equal to 1 divided by omega into C into R suffix V. What do you mean by PV that is QC into tan delta or um, PV is equal to what active power losses of the capacitor QC is nothing but reactive power of the capacitor delta is a loss angle IV is a loss current through the insulating material and RV is a dielectric resistance and XC is a capacitor reactance. If you see this um, dielectric, this is the dielectric and the, these are the foils. And this is the circuit, the equivalent circuit diagram symbolizing the active losses in the uh, leads by RC and in dielectric by RV. This is the uh, equivalent circuit diagram. And this is the orthogonal components of the capacitor. You can observe high, IV and IC and the delta and the loss angle. The active power PV are given by the product of IV into that is V. Okay. What we can say active power losses PV can be written as what? It is a product of IV into IV into V. Okay. Usually we write P is equal to I into V. Okay. Um, that is what they have written uh, active power losses PV is equal to um, that is IV into V or U. 
any insulating material has a defined active conductances even if there are just micro amps flowing when multiplied by the supply voltage u this causes active power losses of the dielectric which will be converted into heat within the capacitor what they are saying is if even if you have a just a small amount of micro amps is flowing then it is multiplied with the voltage okay uh, that is what iv if you have small amount of current that will flow in the circuit okay and it is multiplied with the voltage supply voltage that causes the active power losses of the dielectric and which will be converted as heat okay once again i repeat the small amount of current will be flowing in the circuit that we, uh, that is multiplied with the voltage okay that will cause an active power loss of the dielectric and which will con uh, which will lead to a uh, or which will convert into a heat within the capacitor though active power losses are below 1 watt per 1 kilo uh, that is 1 kvr reactive power of the capacitor large capacitor banks may generate several hundred watts for small uh, ratings we will get below 1 watt per 1 kvr reactive power of the capacitor but when you take the large capacitor banks if that is a uh, you will get in, uh, loss in terms of hundreds okay several hundreds that is what they are saying manufacturers manufacturers of power capacitors declare the active power losses on their products manufacturers manufacturer will indicate or they declare the active power losses on their products additional active losses are caused by all the conducting components inside the capacitor along with the active power losses additional losses will occur due to the components inside the conductor the active losses may become significant in the cause of harmonics of the supply voltage as far as the instantaneous value of current is described that is ic is equal to c into du divided by dt if there is no change okay if there is no change in the voltage du divided by dt is equal to zero the current is equals to zero for example at dc voltage c is equal to a into epsilon divided by d area is a is the area of the plates and here d is the thickness of a insulating material and epsilon is a dielectric coefficient epsilon r is dielectric coefficient of the insulating material for a we consider 1 and epsilon max value is 8.85 picofarad per meter this is the uh, this is the figure of uh, that is schematic illustration of a plate type capacitor one three insulating layers this one this one is one three is a insulating layers four and five are the foils this four and five are the foils okay these are the foils one and three are the insulating layers two is a dielectric to achieve a maximum of capacitance manufacturers of power capacitors have to follow two essential criteria to achieve a maximum of capacitance manufacturers have to achieve a two follow essential criteria that is one is maximum area of the plates with the minimum volume maximum area of the plates with a minimum volume and minimum thickness of the insulating layer the plates in industrial production are manufactured from very thin plastic foils that is dielectric with a very thin vaporized metallic layer electrode on one side only it is one farad is equal to one c divided by one v that is equal to one amps divided by one voltage one farad is very large unit division of the unit are in use the electric charge stored on a capacitor depends on its capacitance and the supply voltage the electric charge stored on a capacitor it depends on capacitance and the supply voltage the c is a capacitance of the capacitor um, and the u is a supplied voltage unit p q is a electric charge unit Unit is 
Next topic is write a short note on capacitors connected in parallel, capacitors connected in series. This is a arrangement and react power of capacitors. This heading is in syllabus you can check. And they have asked capacitors connected in parallel and capacitors connected in serial series. Okay, capacitors connected in parallel. Parallel connection of capacitor which will increase what? Which will increase the total capacitance accordingly. The total capacitance is equal to the sum of all the capacitors. You can see the here rated voltage of each capacitor has to comply with the grid voltage, including at least some um, tolerance. C1 is equal to C is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Actually, C it is okay. C is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 to Cn. Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 up to Qn. I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 up to N. Q1 divided by Q2 that is equal to C1 divided by C2. Or we can write Q1 Q divided by Q1. From seeing this, we have considered only three capacitors, right? So what you'll get C1, C2, C3, Q1, Q2, Q3. So according to that, we have written Q divided by Q1 is equal to C divided by C1. Next, the capacitors connected in series. You write down this, uh, this uh, circuit and you write down this three sentence and write down the equations, okay? Capacitors connected in series. It is sometimes necessary to assemble capacitors in series connection at medium voltage capacitors in order to what? In order to reduce the voltage for each capacitor element. Series connection does not increase the total capacitance, but it is reduced due to the serial connection of the dielectric. 1 divided by C is equal to 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3 plus. Still, if you use a more capacitor, still it will continue. Q is equal to Q1, Q2, Q3. That is what U is equal to U1 plus U2 plus U3. U1 divided by U2 is equal to C2 divided by C1. U1 divided by U is equal to C divided by C1. You write down this circuit and you write down these two points regarding the capacitors mm -hmm. connected in series. They may ask for 5 marks or 10 marks. If they ask for 10 marks, you write down these three points and your circuit and these equations are important. You should write correctly. Okay. And also, on this one also, you write the two points and this circuit and these equations. Star and delta connection of power capacitors. Power capacitors for application in three phase system are delivered either in star or delta connection from the factory. On a request and for special case applications, three phase capacitors are available without any connections, just with the six terminals for connecting as required. On request phases for three phase application, we can, uh, we can have a six terminals for connection. Okay, This enables connections to be made for a single phase or three phase operation. Uh, either we can use a star or delta connection. Capacitor bands for Low voltage applications are usually fitted with the capacitors in delta connection. If the capacitor were to be connected in star configuration, then the total reactor power would result in just one third compared with the delta configuration. The reason is that each capacitor has a line to line voltage in delta connection. The reason is that the, uh, each capacitor has a line to line voltage in delta connection, but in star connection, the delta voltage is divided by by 1 divided by square root of 3. Now we have discussed regarding three questions. Okay, in important questions, uh, we have discussed regarding reactive power of capacitors, basics of capacitor, and write a short note on capacitors connected in parallel, capacitors connected in series. This is regarding the capacitors in model 3. Okay. This is the fundamental concept. In next class, we shall discuss regarding other topics. That is uh, other questions, uh, four, five, six. Okay, we shall discuss in the next class.